this is Chris from Pegasus Drone Media again. Today we're going to be having a look at the difference between the Typhoon H480 batteries and the Typhoon H Plus that's just been released. What's the main difference? The main difference is one is a LiPo battery and one is a LiPo HV battery. So the old 480 battery is a LiPo battery. The new H Plus is a LiPo HV. It has different connections as well for the balancing charging. For the main use of the battery in the copter, works exactly the same. So can you use your old 480 batteries on the new H Plus? Yes, you can. They are different voltages though, so your battery and your voltage readings, if used in the H Plus ST16 controller, will report a slightly different voltage. You do still get the flight time, but your voltage will be slightly adjusted to make it look like there's less in it than there actually is because of the voltage. Why? 480 batteries are 14.8 volt at 5,400 milliamps. The new H Plus are LiPo HV at 15.2 volts, but only 5,250 milliamps. Slight difference. But the good news is you can use your old batteries in your new H Plus, so no wastage. So why have I made this video? Well, because I balance charge my batteries, I don't use the charger that come with the copter. I use a balancing charger like the unique A10. Why? It charges two batteries at once, for starters. It charges them in about an hour, so I'm getting two batteries per hour. So that saves me a lot of time can't use the charger that come with the with the H plus because it takes a good hour and a half to charge the batteries up via that one battery I'm sometimes running 10 batteries at a time if I'm out on a job that I need to take this also runs from a car battery as well so I have a spare car battery that it runs off 12 volt which plugs into that connector there and then you can charge two batteries out in the field as well while you're at it so quite portable and a really good idea. But these main thing with balance charges, they condition your batteries. You'll get much more, you get a much longer life out of the battery if you use a balancing charger. So just a quick look at the difference between the two. The H Plus has got mini dings in the middle, the three in the middle, whereas the 480 battery just has plates for the balancing charging. So your leads will not fit the new H Plus if you use balancing charger and balancing charging leads. These are the difference. You'll see the one on the left is LiPo HV for the Plus and this one is for the Typhoon 480. So if you've got these, they're no good. You can't charge the new H Plus batteries on them. You will need to buy new leads. You can get these direct from Unique UK 19.99, a very well made lead. If you're in the US, I believe they are 19.99 dollars, and you can get them from Carolina Drones. If you're in Europe, you can buy them from Copter EU, a chap called Olaf owns that company. Um, he sells them as well. I don't actually know the price, so I can't tell you the price on that. I've not looked. So you will need to buy new leads to charge the new H Plus in a balancing charger. That's about it for the copter batteries. You also get in the, when you get the new, <coughs> new H Plus, you get a new controller. Twin aerials this time, not single aerials, and a mushroom in the middle. Okay, on the back of that is a battery. You have to charge these in the controller. They take anywhere between eight and 10 hours to charge the controller battery and we'll use approximately five flight batteries so you get five flights per battery sometimes it's four depending on what you're doing with it okay so be aware of that so I've got spare batteries okay now I don't want to wait eight to ten hours to charge a battery I could do but I don't want to I'm quite impatient so I've made some leads to go in the balancing charger. Mini Deans, that's all I used. 
it's a single cell battery okay it's 3.6 volts 8700 milliamps single cell so it doesn't need balancing basically I've made the pins so that they go well we get out a bit that's it I've made the pins so that they slot just on the two outside ones to make the connection to charge I then charge them at five uh, five volts okay takes about an hour maybe an hour and a half depending on its level so a lot quicker 10 hours down to let's say between an hour and two hours okay the balancing charge automatically changes the voltage as the battery goes up so it gives a nice constant charge and a trickle charge towards the end so it conditions the battery as well so there we are quick chat about batteries for the H and the H plus and the difference between the two just to recap the H480 battery is a LiPo 5400 milliamps 14.8 volts and it has pins for balancing charging the LiPo HV is for the H plus it's 5250 milliamps but 15.2 volts and it uses mini deans to connect the balancing charger and that's it that's the end of this one i'll see you again in another one if you've got any questions drop them in the comments below i'll do my best to answer them for you i'll be doing a few other videos on the on the h plus over the next couple of weeks and hopefully we can get a nice series of what the h plus can do i'll go into the details of the h plus a bit uh, another time but this one's just about batteries Okay, if you enjoyed this tutorial or video or description, whatever you want to call it, hit the subscribe button for me, can you? And then you'll be notified of any other videos that I do. Thanks very much for watching. See you again. All the best. Cheerio.